Okay, Stephen Jackson, this is the year. It's 2018. We have a, we have a mayor's race. You in? Uh, well, you know, I'm talking to folks about it. Uh, I'm doing more listening than talking uh, as I sit down and have those conversations. But I'm open. Uh, I think the Kill poll came back uh, with the two millennials in the league, which was no surprise to me. Some folks have discredited as quote unquote fake polling, um, but it was no surprise to me that the two millennials. Uh, what does it mean? Pardon me. What does it mean when you say I'm doing more listening than talking? What What exactly does that mean? What are you when you're hanging out? People say, like Aaron just said, you're thinking about running. You're thinking about running. Then what? What is your response? Well, my response is, my response is, you know, what is it that they're looking for in the mayor? Um, why would they see me as a better candidate, or how do they see the avenue for me um, to to uh, so, be successful? So, so what are you? A, what are they telling you? What are, What are people that you're talking to when when you say so? What are you looking for in a mayor? What is the most common response well um uh the two uh, leading causes is economic development jobs and crime uh, folks and then the third one after that is they want to see a greater collaboration with our pre-k-12 and a great collaboration with a higher education institution when do you make a decision Stephen? i mean you, you could be running against a sitting mayor you need to get cool. move you need to get moving we're talking about in the next couple of months i guess huh yeah i mean uh whoever is going to make that decision uh, it's a decision that I hope they would make in concert with prayer um, and would also make the decision with their family because not only do you run your family and your loved ones around you, they run as well. Uh, so it's mentally, emotionally, uh, spiritually taxing. Um, but if it's something that's for the good of the community, uh, hopefully folks who do, do decide will come forth in a couple of months. Um, I've been talking, like I said, I've been doing more listening than talking, but I've also been um, having the conversations with my family as well about what may happen or what a potential so, um, but there's no guarantee. Um, we'll, we'll see. I, I do believe that you have to get out and engage folks. Uh, like I say, um, I want to hear what folks are, their expectations are, what they'd like to see. Biggest issue with the current mayor? Uh, I believe uh, a stagnant economy and crime. That two go hand in hand. And you blame that on her? Uh, well, I'm not necessarily one to point blame. I just don't know that we're doing enough. We're being aggressive enough. We've been out front enough on these issues. Uh, but I'm not going to necessarily point the blame game. Uh, no one raindrop wants to be blamed for the flood. But um, at some point, we have to take responsibility for where we are.